Hello students, I am Tonmoy. I welcome you all in my channel Chemistry and History of Molecule. So today we are going to discuss about a very important chemotherapeutic uh, agent or you can say anti-ulcer drug, Ranitidine. Okay, you all know I think majority of you or your family people have taken Ranitidine local name as Rantex, Rantex. So those things generally, so it is one of the most successful anti-ulcer drug. Okay, so we will discuss how this drug is prepared. Frankly speaking, those chemicals are patented molecule. So I can't assure that whatever I am teaching here, by this that method, the drug is made which you are consuming. I am not sure. Because this information is not accessible to me also. There are many patent trade secrets, those, those things, so I don't know. Right now, in this video, I am going to explain you a logical retrosynthetic approach and reaction scheme to prepare this molecule. And for that reason, I have taken help from two sources. One is a manuscript published in Green Game 2011-13. You may go through that manuscript and check what I am telling. Second by Dr. Chomun Shah's book, Volume 5, Retrocyclic Chemistry. You can have this. So this is the reference. So let's start. See. Actually, we are going to first do the disconnection approach. Second, we will discuss about the reactions to prepare the target molecule. First, disconnection approach. This, this is the actually why we are uh, studying this in this at this time. This is a furan containing drug, and we have prepared, we have discussed about the preparation of heterocyclic. So let's give you a practical application of this heterocyclic moiety. This is a furan code. So how will you prepare? First of all, let's break this. Then break this because this is a benzylic. This is C alpha beta unsuited cardinal. This part I'll explain why. And second, let's break this because furan is the electron rich nucleus, aromatic nucleus, so aromatic electric substitution you can prepare. So, so what is the fragmentation pattern here? Here, okay, here. So, let's focus on first this part. This. NO2 actually this thing uh, actually frankly speaking I am not also sure I am giving a logical approach if one of you exactly know the process or it is legally allowed to disclose publicly please uh, paste it in the comment box or send me the link then I will share with you people you all will know what is the exact procedure okay but be careful about the legal procedures so this is NH3 Sorry, not NH3, NHCH3. This is NHCH3, and here actually this is broken. Middle, middle, middle part is NH2, S means corresponding synthon, this part. I'm discussing about this part. Second, this part is from furan CH2X. X is a group, X is a living group. L E F V I N G. L E F X is a living group. Fine. And this is actually you may consider that in Me2 plus. Okay. It's an electrophile. So aromatic electronic substitution at this end. Fine. Let's start. So this thing how we can get? We can get from manic reaction. So by the way, I want to mention that I have already uploaded videos about manic reaction, basic concept reaction mechanism and application example. Please visit that if you want to learn it. How? So how this could be prepared? In Me2, sorry, this should be in Me2. Me2 NH plus formaldehyde, one carbon source. Second is dry HCl. Fine. This generates this leaving this group. Fine. Okay. And second step should be actually under this acidic condition it would be NH plus. So second step should be neutralization. Fine. How this could be obtained? This could be obtained from you may consider that OH under acid plus acid. So if you put acid, this will be OH2 plus, it's a good living group. And how this could be obtained? This could be obtained from this furfural. Okay. How this could be obtained? 
this fat fuel could be obtained from aldopentose aldopentose p aldopentose p n t o a c aldopentose okay uh, and in presence of acid fine this part this high I mean, is a commercial available thing now how this this could be obtained from corresponding s a n e thing how this could be obtained? This could be obtained from corresponding NO2 SME. How? Reaction with <coughs> NH2 methylamine. Okay? Because methylamine. And how this could be obtained? This could be obtained from Carbon disulfide, we know CH2, it's a big gas level molecule, plus nitromethane, CH3, NH, NO2, plus base, in presence of base. Okay, so this is the overall disconnection approach for this molecule. Okay, so now let's go to the details flow chart for the synthesis of this molecule. Okay, let's continue the discussion. See, so this is far fewer, as I told. This is the overall scheme. This is hydrogen and copper chromite. What it does, it reduces. This hydrogen is acting as a reducing agent and copper chromite as catalyst. Reduction of, selective reduction of this aldehyde into CH2 each alcohol. Fine. So, next step, see, this is formaldehyde. This is formaldehyde and methylamine. And ultimately, what it, uh, and in presence of ACL. This is actually manic reaction as I told this is manic reaction and what it does it's one carbon addition so first step what it resulted it resulted this is the OH CH N Me2 plus Cl minus okay via the intermediate actually here after this formaldehyde if I write H COH formaldehyde plus acid means it is protonated. This NM methylene it attacks, it opens up and resulted in actually CH2 OH NH Me. Actually, NH2 plus Me, then, pro, then it removes one proton to result in NH Me. Second step, what happens? It push, sorry, it's NME2. So, this NME2, second step, it pushes and in acidic medium, it becomes H2 plus and it leaves to generate the actual electrophile. That is CH2. This nitrogen, after this double bond formation, this nitrogen became plus charge. See, it's an electron deficient. This is acting as electrophile. And that electrophile is attacked by this position, means this attack. Okay? So, ultimately result in this form, this ammonium and this hydrochloride salt formation. Okay? And is it visible? Yes. Hydrochloride salt formation uh, is visible. This hydrochloride salt formation after this OH neutralizes this HCl, this NHCl. So ultimately means it opens up, neutralizes. Then in reaction medium, after that what happens? Bond formation. Okay, I will explain. This NME2 lone pair is there. That lone pair adapt form adapt with hydrogen H plus and along with their Cl minus. And this one molecule of acid is removed by the base. Okay. So this next step, so this is from in next step what happens? This thioamine in terms of concentrated HCl. HCl means H plus and Cl minus. Now see, when you put concentrated HCl, what will happen? Soft means hard basic centers will be protonated. These NH obviously it will be protonated. These OH2 is obviously will be protonated. So this is plus Cl minus fine. Third step among this thiol 
and amine, this amine will also be protonated. But this thiol will not be protonated. Why? Because it's not a hard base. It's a soft base. You know this thing when hydrolysis of thioacetal. I have explained that time. Please go through that video. Hydrolysis and on preparation of thioacetal. So hydrolysis part will understand clearly that thiol is not a proton loving reagent. Okay. So that's why this is free and we know that thiol is a soft center, good nucleophilic center. So it attacks and it leaves. So ultimately this is carbon bond is preferred. Although there is a NH2 present, still preferential sulfur attacks because of its proton, less attachment to proton. Or less, less, less love to proton. Okay, fine. So this is NH2. Now see, this NH2 is functionalized further. How? This part is taken, this molecule. What happens? See, it's a Michael acceptor. So what happens? This NH2, this NH2 attacks here. So nitro group, if we write a little better way, if this is in this way, nitrogen, so it opens, it opens up. Further, it comes back. Okay, better. I'll write it. It's getting too much complicated, I believe. So what it produces? First of all, it opens. Then it resulted. So I am writing this in. Actually, after uh, the removal of proton, it will become NH. Let's consider this part. So this is NHME. This is SME. So what happened? It became this uh, nitrogen O minus O minus three plus charge. In next step, if electron push back here, it comes here. So now SME2 leaves. Why? Because see, the uh, bond energy of carbon and sulfur is not that much strong compared to carbon nitrogen because two second row elements both are. Okay, that's why SME minus left leaves. Means actually ME2, MESH, methyl thiol left. Uh, so another thing is a gas. gas. So fine. So then it attacks, and this is actually the drug ranitity. Fine, this is the drug. So in this way. Now the second part of this process, you see how to prepare this reagent. This is also a question. So that thing I have explained here. Carbon disulfide, if you react with nitromethane in terms of KOH, it results molecules. How? Because K CS2. See. Carbon disulfide is carbon having two bond with sulfur, and we know their matching is not that much good, more reactive molecule. So, in presence of KOH, first KOH react with nitromethane because it has an active hydrogen and its pK around 10, same acid like active methylene compounds. It's a very interesting property. Please keep it in mind. It attacks and it opens up, resulting the CH2 minus anion, and that is resonance stabilized by the nitro group. Fine. So it attacks here, it opens up. Fine. So what is the product? So it resulted in C double bond S S minus here CH2 N O2 minus plus. Now the question. Then how this is formed? C the medium is basic. Still, and right now you may consider this thing as an active methylene compound. First of all, nitro is there, acidic. Second of all, attached to C double bond is. Consequently, what happens? This proton is obstructed by base very easily, and this minus is generated. See, carbon carbon double bond is most stable compared to carbon sulfur. That's why this double bond pushes here, it's open, and ultimately result this part. Find this. Second, sulfur is a very good nucleophile, we know. So if you react this with methyl iodide, methylation happens, both part, fine. So this SME to SME, SME, SME to next. Now, second step, if you put methyl amine, what happened? Just I told the logic. It is at, at the Michael acceptor and carbon sulfur bond is not that much strong. So it attacks, it opens up, fiercely come back, similar way, emit one, MES removed and NHME is produced and that is used in this step. 
Okay, so this is the overall discussion of the preparation of a very useful anti-ulcer drug, Brandy. So thank you everyone for listening. So if you like my video, please help me to grow my channel. First of all, please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get notification of every single video I upload. Secondly, share this video among your friends so that many people could be benefited from my effort. And finally, please like this video and make some good comments if it's really very good for you. If it is not or you think there is some limitation should be improved, please mention that also in the comment box. And most importantly, I'm telling again, if you have any better proof of literature, or information please share with me because such molecules are very patented molecules or preparation is a trade secret but please be careful before sharing is it public is it legally allowed to share this information publicly or not so thank you again stay happy stay blessed see you in my next video